going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like and please subscribe down below i appreciate all the support from everybody we have a really interesting box in front of us it says a weird word on the side which we will bring up right now and it says adidalicious which i guess adidas is trying to get a little more street kind of the uh scriptish graffiti writing i don't know what they were doing here this is an old school style basketball sneaker in a slide box which i always love when they do slide boxes two kinds of paper that lined it one clear adidas and one white adidas and around on the other side where it doesn't slide i will show the label you have an adidas forum high with a collaboration with a place called cut and slices and it's cuts and slices men's size 13 retail is not posted on here but they were 130 dollars us and this particular pair released, I believe they released on September 30th. I will make sure that's correct, 2022, for 130 US. So, this is what we are looking at today. Real quick, if I bring up the other sneaker, you will see the rubber hang tag dedicated to Cuts and Slices Pizzeria, which is out of Brooklyn. The address is on the side. And bringing that up, you can see 93 Howard Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11233. That is in the area of, I believe it's Bedford Stuyvesant. I think it's in Bed Stuy. Uh, it might be in Bushwick, but it's by Saratoga Park. It's right near that area. I'm familiar with Brooklyn. I am from Canarsie. I used to visit my grandmother all the time in Bay Ridge. My parents moved out into Westchester County, Yonkers, and I grew up mostly in that area. So, that's a little history on me. This is an Adidas Forum High, and I think it's a sick look. It's a classic basketball sneaker look, and surprisingly enough, I want to touch on this real quick. The leather quality on these is really nice. For the 130 retail, and some of them aren't doing too much above retail, some stores might have in stock. If I can find any, look down in the description. I will try to leave them there. Even if it's only one or two sizes, at least somebody can grab them for retail if they want them that bad. Overall, we have a nice white leather upper like i said great quality the burgundy leather here you can see how it flexes down the quality is really nice and these really well put together much better than we see on some jordan ones and i'm talking the highs as well just the quality is really nice your three stripe adidas right here in this kind of double layered leather feels nice to the touch as well this burgundy right here is a leather material but right below it is a rubber plastic shank overlay so that is not leather you're just seeing that top part being leather there's your printed on adidas logo that has kind of a imprint to it almost like an uh, debossed i believe it is white leather going up here white leather underneath the brooklyn address you have some suede that's a little shaggy on the back heel area and here is your strapping that goes around attaches through a leather piece here but i will point out that you can see how it's attached to the upper so if you undo this strap which i will do because we're gonna have to show it without the strap also so you will see that this cannot come off, so even though you can pull the strap through the back heel area here, this strap is not removable like an Air Force One high, so if you're not a big fan of straps, know that about this shoe. Underneath, once again, a nice leather material, white, and it's kind of darker than the burgundy, it's like an off brown, it's really like actually a deep darker brown. You have a weird tan sand color over the top, it says pull up beloved. And I'm assuming that is being in terms to pull up to the pizza shop and the customer service. They have great reviews on the shop. Everybody in the neighborhood loves them. Check them out if you are a fellow New Yorker and you've never heard of them or been there. Check them out. Take the trip over to Brooklyn. You have a little bit of white eyelets going down all the way. So they actually use the eyelets all the way down. Sometimes they only do it for the top two. I like to see that as well. It gives you a little more of a premium around the um, eyelet area. So when the... If you change your laces a lot, it's going to fray the leather. This will protect that, so that's kind of nice. Very, very picky, but I did not show up down here. You also have the tribute to the Cuts and Slices shop right down below on that leather paneling. Your tongue is also a leather material going all the way up, and the quality of the leather is really nice. You have that kind of tannish brown lace that matches the strap. It is a slightly bit darker, but they tried to match it as best they could. And there is your great leather going up. Once again, the leather feels really nice. Cuts and Slices Pizzeria on the tag with no Adidas branding. I like how they just allowed them to kind of leave their design right there. And these, if you can see, are size 13. I think they run pretty big. They look really big in person. And it's just, I don't know, it was really hard to size these. I don't know if I'd want a 12, but the 13 felt a little big, so I probably want a 12 and a half. I would say if you have an average width foot, maybe go down half a size in these. That's just my best opinion based on my foot and my experience. 
and your inner lining is also in that burgundy material and if we move the laces out the way you will be able to see the inner lining and insole which says the address of the pizzeria and the slices with the logo so this way you can actually focus <laughs> sorry about that best i can do right there the lighting's kind of messing with it but other than that there's not too much else to show about these i think it's a solid different sneaker to buy i really like how adidas chose a small local shop brought some more light onto it people out of state probably have never heard of them and they will now and i just think it's really cool when sneaker companies do stuff like that that didn't happen when i was growing up as a kid in the 90s we just didn't have stuff like this and it's really really awesome that they keep doing this stuff i wish nike would find smaller shops to collaborate with more and that's really about it i like this overall model i like the way this collaboration went if you like it let me know down below i will try to answer back to everybody and get some conversation going in the comments i thank you all for the support Please stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I hope everybody has a great day. All right, bye.